Welcome back guys. It's just gone 5 a.m. and it's pretty good to get out fishing once again. The weather's been so bad for so long. It has been, I think in the last three months I've got out fishing once. And at the moment I'm not doing too good driving the boat. This should be a pretty cool trip actually. I've got Marcus from Shimano down, taking him up Durbel for the day. The weather's all over the show. I think we're going to get a nor'wester of 15 knots up Durbel. We've got sou'wester coming through here. The forecast is 5 to 20 knots, so I think we're going to get a bit of a thrashing on the way up to Durbel. And the tides are all against us, so she's going to be a bit of tough fishing actually. It's only a small window to get Marcus up anyway, so we'll. Um, adjust what we're doing here. Uh, transmit. Sparking up the radar now. Alright, get that off. Guard zones. It's like I've been in the boat for so long, there's spiderwebs all over it. And at five o'clock there's already about four or five boats out and a couple more launching, so hopefully the run up will be pretty good. Marcus is just parking the car now. It's taking a while. I'm not sure if he's confident. He was too scared to back it down as well. That's right, Marcus. You guys realize that the night before fishing, I don't know if it's the same for all you guys, but I do not sleep. I had the worst sleep ever in my life last night. Well, to be fair, every night before I go fishing is the worst night sleeping. What is that? I think it's just excitement, eh? But you guys ever get that or feel that way? Shit night sleep. Plan was to go to bed early to have a good night's sleep so I'd be jacked up for today, but no. Right, well we just made it up the top. We had a pretty good run out of Nelson, better than we thought. We're just doing our first drop now, had a look around, found some bait fish and sign. Marcus is, what reel are you running? Is it a secret one? Jigger um, 1500. It's got the OC, a Jigger 1500, and a secret rod. A semi secret rod, yep. And a semi secret rod. Up here in the passage it's quite crappy actually, we've got that westerly coming through. Probably bowing about 13, 13 knots, about half a metre to a metre swell coming through. We're on the wrong tide, but we just found some bait fish anyway. And we just thought we'd drop on them, see if there's a snapper in amongst them, but not too much sign. Lots of bait. Hopefully we can catch uh, Marcus a good snapper, but my confident levels, sorry Marcus, are low. <laughs> it's pretty crappy. I don't think we're going to get out the western side. So we'll just carry on here and we'll, we'll have a go, we'll target for some snapper for a while and then see. The wind's meant to die off but uh, I'm not sure if it is going to. Up on the eastern side coming up, it was a mill pond through there. If you watch the vlogs you know how much of a hiding we get from the weather. 
So today's actually pretty good. This is not bad here, and it should get better as that tide starts coming in. It should die off a bit more. And the wind is meant to die off during about lunchtime anyway. But hopefully Marcus can catch a giant snappers. No pressure. No pressure. All well, the pressure's on me. What do we get nothing? <laughs> uh, yeah, but the thing is, if I take him out, he's the banana. You're the banana though, eh? Well, we'll see. We've got time up our hands at the moment. Just gone nine o'clock, and I'm definitely calling uh, Marcus the banana so far. Oh, that's a good <laughs> Got a uh, giant, giant cod then. Actually, no, it was really small. And uh, slowly spiraling into fishing depression. <laughs> already, already. <laughs> at 9 a.m. <laughs> And it's bitter cold. We've got a sou'easter coming through the that the sou'easter coming through the past. It's freezing. Hide those secret lures, Marcus. Hide those secret lures. They're working really well at the moment. <laughs> and now the vents are on the wrong tide, and there's not a lot going on. I'm quite concerned on our options on where to go too, dude. We could try maybe poking her head through and going out the other side, but she looks pretty nasty through there. I don't mind even if you want to go back and prospect around that island you were talking about. Oh yeah? Look at that. Oh mate, I don't mind. Be nice to get your snap though. We'll do another drift through there. I'll, I'll run a different angle through there. We've kind of swung out wider. We did see that single snapper, we might go try and get him. <laughs> Do the drift past that guy. <laughs> see your first, um, Marcus's first South Island <laughs> fish. It's gonna be a whopper. <laughs> oh, look out, it kicked. Got, got the net for you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, it's about the right size. <laughs> Oh, oh, it's another kick. Look out. Look out. Look out. Oh, it's a Look cod. Look out. Oh, it's a giant cod. Well, we've, uh, I've spiraled into fishing depression. Marcus is happy as. <laughs> it's just gone, uh, it's just gone 10 o'clock. And uh, I just brought in a cod and Marcus uh, got that tiny net out for me. Which was quite mean. But we tried, we just had a look to go through the passage and head through the other side to the western side. And we can't get through there. It's horrific through there. Um, we probably could, but it's just not great. And looking out further, the other side's just shite. And uh, so we're just having a bit of a muck around in closer here. And then we'll probably head back over to the um, passage and have another go. But it's. Uh, Certainly might be tiled uh, fishing depression, <laughs> but it could be because there could be a banana on board. Well, I won't say that. That's mean. <laughs> well, it's gone 11:45, and even Marcus is now suffering from serious fishing depression. We thought going around the western side was a smart move, but it was horrific through there. But we managed to find a tiny little gap in the center island and sneak through and then we had to go so wide out to get away from the tide and it was just horrific it was good though we did about five drops or five drifts epic um, wonky gong fishing we nailed it Marcus got the biggest probably around 12 to 13 centimeters and then we, the winds just getting worse and worse it's doing about uh, 15 knots now up here it's still, at the moment it's calm on this side because we've still got the incoming tide. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear the wind. The chart plotter failed on the other side, so that's, uh, we've got issues that the sound is working fine, but we can't fish off any marks because the chart plotter's not working. The, the set compass, for some reason, is not picking up. 
uh, not picking up any satellites. I'm going to go in there soon and try and fix it, but in the meantime, we're, I'm just going to try and roughly find some fish and let Marcus um, maybe smash a few more wonkies. Oh, we did get we, we did get a big blue cod, and uh, they're legal on the other side of Stephen's Passage because remember, guys, through here you cannot um, on this side, on the eastern side of Stephen's Passage, you cannot take cod, but on that side you can, and you can transit them through. So we got one cod for tea. One side each, Marcus. <laughs> one side each. Maybe we just need to do a bit of a tutorial, not catching fish, but on gear or something. Yeah, exactly. And then, because we're not, let's be fair, I mean, you are the banana. <laughs> I, I, I do blame you. Oh, listen to it. <laughs> Maybe that's what we call this one. I reckon someone's jammed a banana <laughs> in. Can we call it the banana? Oh, you could do. <laughs> the big banana. <laughs> That'll be mint. <laughs> Not the best, most action-packed vlog, guys, and it was hard to film on the other side. But you guys have been watching this for watching this channel for a while, so the last five, six episodes, you know it's always rough weather, and we don't get any good footage, so it's nothing new to you. But we're going to have another drop now. We want to just, we'll just do a bit of a blind drop, hey? We we're not finding sign because there's no sign. We're just going to just get some wonkies. Yeah, get some more wonkies. Well, we can take a quota of wonkies home, Marcus. You just tell people it's snapper. <laughs> They're orange. Yeah. But you just fill it them before you give it to them. <laughs> My mate Shane does that, eh? He gives the neighbour wonky gogs and says it's snapper. She doesn't know any different and gives them cakes and sausages and saveloys and stuff. <laughs> That's that, gold. That is gold. Old Shainos. <laughs> Oh, it's so much better out here, eh? Jesus. Even though it's windy, it's still good. Marcus has got shorts on. He's wearing shorts. He wears shorts all year, apparently. I heard that South Islanders were tough, so I thought I had to wear shorts. We're tough. We're just not silly. <laughs> For God's sakes. Okay, drop there, man. Good. There's a very good no sign. Massive sign of monster. Massive sign of nothing. Whew, this might be the shortest vlog ever. Maybe you could talk about slow. What, what would you like to talk about, Marcus? What could you teach people? In your wisdom, huh? Well, they don't, they watch this. They watch me all the time do that. I don't need more expertise. I'm the wonky gonk master. God, this bloody compass. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's a connection. Oh yeah? yeah. We do get tuners here. Well, that's what I'm going for. Um I think it might be might be a loose wire or something, eh? I don't know. There's no reason for it. No, to have changed or anything. I think maybe with our rough weather it's loosened up a few wires. True. That would make sense going through the passage. I don't know if the footage looks bad, but going through the passage it was it was pretty shit. <laughs> the old pants puck it up a bit. <laughs> the back passage. Well the beauty is Marcus, we do have the sounder working. But I don't think it's working because it's not showing anything. It's not Surprisingly, it's 15.1 degrees up here. Like now nah, that wind's a bit of cold, but that water's it's quite warm. Am I still not in reverse? Right, we've got a new plan of attack. Marcus has decided that we're going to slow troll uh, a live bait for a kingfish. He's made the executive decision and he's gonna show me and you guys how to rig up and troll. Um, what are we doing, deep, what are we calling it? Deep trolling, Marcus? 
Oh, just slow trolling? Slow trolling. Yep. I've never done slow trolling a live bait, so learn something new every day fishing. It's the one sport you can keep learning and learning. And due to our um, chart plotter not working, we uh, we don't need a chart plotter for this. And I don't think it's going to be an issue getting a car wire either. Because there is birds working full on. So for the meantime, we've given up on snapper. And we are going to have another go for them a bit later on. Once the tide changes in two hours time, uh, we'll have another go for the snapper. We might try another spot as well. Because there's no sign out here. But we may be a little bit tired because we're, I'm pretty jaded now after all those big wonky gonks. Right, we're going for a kahawai now. Um, we're probably going to need a bit of lure, aren't we? Yeah, I'm thinking so. Actually, we could uh, probably need a casting rod too. We've well, got there. Uh, what have I got casting? Probably nothing right now. Yeah, you got your dilemma, didn't you? Oh, no, lure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Look out. Look out. Oh, oh now we're talking. Yeah. Oh, all over it. Anything. You want one of those here, one of those with a single. Yeah, that big. I've seen a cell phone. Can't find it. Go as big as you want. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you use. No, no, no. Oh, you go. No, no. Okay, you got, you've chosen him. Yep. Okay. Good luck. What are we going to use? Uh, Dial. Ooh. That's we it. can't put that on camera. No, you can't. Look at what you got on it. Oh, mate. A Stella 4 for the humble car one. Oh, Stella. No, I don't use that. No, Jake, should we put the swim car on? Might as well get it, you beat. Okay, we're, we're running a Colt Sniper. And little Colt Sniper. And Marcus is all over it. About the, the one thing with car why when you're chasing car wires don't drive up on them because you put them down and that's just what we did <laughs> <laughs> right Marcus let's go are actually below us now do yeah if you actually cast out or drop you'll probably hook one Hopefully you're better at catching car wire than snapper. Uh, I can get you close, I'll oh, get you over to that mob if you want. Maybe. Let's, Let's do, do that. that. Let's do that, Trace do you need? And you want to do you want a recurve hook or what? Yeah, recurve. recurve? Yeah, yeah. I've probably got live bait rigs here on May, but yeah, they'll probably be you can probably use a similar live bait setup than you were using for your balloons. Cooter in that lot. Let's 
car while you're on the surface working anymore, are they? We can drop, um, we can just drop. Those guys there. Wait, 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 wait. They're just there. Oh, right there. Yeah. You got me a daughter, you right? <laughs> Big buster. Do we need to sit up above them and drift through them? Almost, eh? Hey. Yeah. Do you want me to go up? Yeah. Heaps under us, eh? Yeah. And they're close to the surface as well. I'll just let it sink a little bit. Classic trying to catch live baits. Oh, mate. Now, times I've been fishing, and that's the hardest thing to catch. like snapper. Serious? <laughs> right. Oh, look at your jigs going straight down through them.
pingy jigs yep. here. Oh. Look at them, they're coming up to it. You can probably get a pingy at it. That'd be great. That'd have just done our luck. Got it. Shot the blocker down there. Sniper out in the front of that, drifting down to the bottom, mate. All in the front of that rock, where those birds are, where those star wire. Take an Auckland to fish it. Hawaii time. Oh, it's a small one. I've never seen one that small up here. Shambles. Oh, 
on fire, mate. We are on fire. I think we've got half a left. Actually, we've got to be with our That's where they are. We need to chuck them in the lobby. Well, oh, I'll take the other here. I'll take it. Yeah. You take that. Tell us how it's done, mate. What am I doing? Going for a car wire? Yeah. Oh, I guess I can. Because usually the car wire are too big that they don't live in there live boat well. But since you've got a cute little one, we'll be able to... Well, mate, that's, that's proper live weight size one. Boy, I don't know what size kingies you're going for. But... <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> am I going or are you going? Straight under us. Are they? Yeah. They're right on top of that rock, yeah, eh? They're literally on top of it. As you see the wave come over, look at them all just loaded up on top of it. Yeah. That's where we need to be. Really? Is that thing sitting on the wave? Yeah. yeah. Holy That's what I was saying before. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I, I was like, see them. Ow. I couldn't see them do. <laughs> Holy they're shit. They're just solid. I think you probably go the other side of that rock. Yeah. Just uh, watch it. She's fly by wire. So she's just real gentle, buddy. There you go. The car wire just sitting on the yeah. right of this rock yeah. here. I couldn't see them, but Marcus was saying there they are, but they're right off the edge and they're just sitting on the top of the waves. We're using a little cult sniper. Wonderful. And that's it there. So what you actually want to do with these guys is when you cast it, it'll flutter down and you'll actually pick up a lot of fish on the way down. That's it there. And she's been pretty well hammered from a fair bit of uh, fishing. That is Kawai-tastic, Marcus. The fishing's not amazing today, but I've got to be fair, it's... Uh, Good times with Marcus, it's, it's just been funny. Oh. <laughs> Gonna enjoy the good with the bad. And, and uh, probably wanna, yeah, oh yeah, whatever suits, mate. You get punch it forward, like. Can we still see them? Can you still see them? They're just sitting with them, aren't they? You kind of want the hook on the bum end though, eh? Yeah, you stand up with your collar. Come around. Yeah, just watch that. Yeah, I'm in. Just watch that rock to your right, dude. Yeah. Ah, why on? On. Yeah, mate. Oh, oh. oh yeah, I can see them all on the surface, eh? Nuts, eh? We need one of those, um... Yeah, the, the hook on the back's a bit better, isn't it? Yeah, you can flip it around, just take it off that clip. I yeah. had it on the back, when you're casting long, you'll get it snagging over the leader. Oh, yeah. Oh, on! Yep, sweet. These certainly aren't the line pullers. Of the normal size car, why these are quite good little um, liveys, eh? Yeah. Usually they're ocean going giants here. Whoop. Oh, my Stella to fall off. <laughs> <laughs> Today will be the day it's got to happen. Oh, yeah. All right. Car wire Oh. Yes. Perfect, mate. I know it's almost call us. Seasoned professional car wire catchers, dude. Yeah, not quite as good at catching these as we are. Bottom species. We don't need any more, do we? It's chocker. It's chocker. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. 
seriously, you don't get coal like that size normally here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be a good bait for a cooker and a good livey for a cooker too. Yeah, yeah. That'd be perfect. So, that's all my, my life bait gear there, dude. You only catch little ones here. Livey, kingy. Do you want to bridle them or do you want to? You can if you want. No, it's your call. No, you can if you want. Bridle them. Oh. I think we probably should have had the live bait pump on as well. <laughs> we'll just, we just let the live bait suffocate for a while. We didn't, we didn't turn the live bait well on again. You know I'm notoriously bad at that. So we did a trip, Marcus, ages ago. We spent like an hour getting liveys, yeah. loading up. Get out to the spot, because when I'm cruising, it's inertia fed. It's, it's flowing the water through. We get out there. I left the pump, and like, most of them died. There's like five didn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. That is brilliant. I should call it fishing with Numpty Mark instead of the flog. Numpty Mark fishing. Right, what do you want to run it on? Oh, well, you said they're going to be big. Do you want an overhead or do you want a stellar? I don't care. You got nice little gunnels, so it's one either or. Do we doubling or single? Just one? Just one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, OC a jigger? Or stellar? Yeah. Stellar sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> 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 that has got to be the shortest leader in the history of leaders. Shortest leader? It's not that short. That's right down to there. It's pretty short. Good average actually. It's short. It is short. It's not Mate, I've seen guys look at those look what they're spitting out. They are they're on white bait or shrimp. Look at it all. Oh, they're tiny. Yeah. They're like little shrimp. Yeah, they are. They're little shrimps. Shouldn't be any different pinch point to a knot. So my first ever slow trolling for kingfish. And we, got, we didn't bring any weight, so Marcus has put a jig as the weight, which is quite streamlined as well, eh? Yeah. Actually, it's put a bit of shimmer and shimmer in that to it as well. Just run it like that. Look at that. Yeah, that's mean, dude. Like a trolling weight. That's cool to bring in fish, too. We had some cooter yeah. hit that and bust us off right at the top. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even mention it today. <laughs> it's gonna happen. If it's gonna happen, today's the day. So, what is the optimum um, depth we want to be? Oh, so it'll all depend. Like, if you have a look along that face, do you want to just drop where the king e look for kingies, or you don't want to? Yeah, just look go? for the sign. Look for the sign first. If you okay. can find sign, drop drop near that, of course. If you can't, then we'll just we'll go to kind of where you normally start. Yeah, and just putter along it, but you go like it's super slow. You'll see it's fucking just, just slow. Just, as. I, just idling. Yeah. Okay. And it's almost in and out. Right. Slow as you can go, pretty much. Oh, really? Yeah. Alright. Okay, to ring on here.
swimming like a baby. Yep. That wind's just going to take us nicely, dude. Yeah. Is this like what you do mainly up there? Yeah. You jig as well, or you oh, yeah. mix it up? Yeah, 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 mix it up. Dude, drop, like, drop live bait straight down into where the sign is, or slow troll them. Slow troll them means that you can cover some ground, especially if there's, they're not holding in any one spot, you know? Yeah. Like, a, like you can go right along the shelf, whereas normally they patrol it, so you're never going to, if you jig there, you can do a load of jigging before you intercept them. Yeah. Whereas this allows you to just like, cover some ground. Whereas if you're fishing a pin, you jig it or you drop line straight on to it. And then you slow roll it. Sort of the right speed. Yeah, it's about bang on. Even though there's been no fish today, the reversing and that's been spot on. Yeah. It couldn't yeah. get any better. It's been perfect. They, yeah. Even around there where it was absolute shit, yeah. it was perfect. Yeah, yeah. It was a shame though there wasn't, we'd be slaying the fish. Imagine how good it would be. Be cleaning up a fish if there was any around. Yeah. yeah. I definitely, I definitely had a string full at the start. Yeah. Drop Some of those giant South Island wonkies do strip a bit of line to start with. <laughs> They're known for their street stripping capabilities. Well, that cod was, you know, you were starting to call it for a snapper. <laughs> well, it might be a little snapper. Might be a little snapper. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> I suppose I could be productive and throw a stick bait as well. You want it, mate? Half a dog. I just decided on that or another this delicious chicken sandwich. Oh, well. Decisions, decisions. Decisions. <laughs> Got that, um. Oh. Are you bringing them in? I think you will. The problem is, they come in unrigged. So the market wants all Everyone whinges about that. Yeah, everyone whinges about that. But, but I strip all, most people strip the hooks off. Most retailers don't. You do. Yeah. The guys who fish with them do, but the retailers who are selling them, um, they don't. Right, we're having another another go. First round was a, a fail. Round two. Tide's just changing now, so we'll do one more, one more go with the Livey, and then we'll go for a snapper. Well, see if there's any snapper sign anyway. She's been a tough day on the water, that's for sure. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, it's been classic, though. <laughs> Everything that's tried to go wrong has it, gone wrong. It, it has. It has. <laughs> we ended up catching Carl in the end. It was good fun, too, though, eh? It was. I like, I almost live baits are so much more fun than catching the other one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then forgetting to the live bait well and killing them is always good too. <laughs> we might have to chow. Do you feel like another chicken sandwich? Oh, I think we might have to. I think we might have to. Marcus made chicken, chicken sandwiches in there. Awesome. Are you actually getting out fishing much these days or not? Mm. Not as much as I'd like. But I do my own as well, obviously. Mm. But not as, yeah, it's limited. Not as much as when I was at the shop. Are you getting out much on the Shimano boat? A little bit. It should be used for more than it. It should be used more than it is, really. Yeah. yeah. Should be doing a lot of in-house media too, eh? Yeah. That's what I've been pushing. Right. Could get me to fly up and do the filming for you. Yeah. I'm cheap, just a couple of chicken rolls <laughs> and a fly. <laughs> I still would have thought there was be fish here. 
I still, you know, like, I still think it's too, a little bit early. Guys yeah. getting him in the bay, but nothing big, so I'd still, still like to think there's mooches here. Yeah. And there might be, like you say, but you just, it's a big area that you've got to pull those few fish out of. Yeah. Certainly been just been shit this year, dude. Yeah. It's just so, so hard with the weather. weather. All, all winter, you know. Yeah. We're drifting along that tight field. I'm surprised how cold it is, dude. 